Hey guys, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. <clears throat> in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable whiteboard in your Office 365 organizations. So once you log into your Office 365, you want to go into the Microsoft Admin Center. And under at Microsoft Admin Center, you want to click on Setup. Oops, sorry. You want to click on Settings. And under Setting, you want to click on Organization Settings or ORG Settings. And in there, you want to scroll down until you see Whiteboard. So by default, Whiteboard is enabled, but the diagnostic data, it's optional here. So you can configure the require, which is the minimum amount of data necessary to keep Whiteboard secure or up to date. And if your organization requires this, I suggest that you check that. And if it's optional, you can check optional or you can do neither. No diagnostic data about the whiteboard client software running on the device on your organization. So it does not um, collect anything here. Once you do that, here are some more options. This is the optional connected experience. So you can allow users or allow the use of optional connected experience in whiteboard so if you uncheck this there is no um, optional experience and also the board sharings you can enable easy sharing whiteboard surface so use in organization will enable a user in organization will be enabled to share from the surface hub without logging in and if you don't check this box, user will not be able to access without uh, logging in. So that's all the settings for whiteboard in Office 365. You want to make sure you click save to save the settings. The setting has been saved. And if you want additional information about the whiteboard, you can click on learn more about whiteboard. So as you can see here, enable Microsoft Whiteboard for your organizations. And under this information, it has all the settings about Whiteboard in Office 365. So this is it. Thank you for watching and have a great day.